Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This is actually a message of the day and it is for Thursday, July 25th, 2024 and the message is for all of us. So welcome my dear viewers, let us begin. I do hope and wish that you're having a wonderful day, a glorious day. I do wish you abundance of blessings in everything you're doing and like to tell you that I'm really in gratitude for all of you being here and enjoying everything with me sharing your views sharing your thoughts i really love reading from you my dear viewers i'd like to take this opportunity to wish you happy birthdays those of you who are celebrating birthdays and happy other occasions i wish you the best of the best for today and always for each and every one of you whether you're celebrating or not let us begin with the first message whoops they gave us two oh no there's three and there's four so we'll, oh there's four five so we'll just wait and get proper one message for thursday July 25th for the collective. Wow, what's wrong with me? There's too many. Just one more time. This is the finale. And there it is. Okay, thank God for that. So we have a child. Very interesting. Now a child can mean many things. For each person, it might be a different um, concept. But I'll read what it says and I'll tell you my point of view. It says, you care deeply about children. And they readily respond to your love. All children, including your inner, your own inner child, requiring love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule to start so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Now, this applies to every child in your life, whether it's your child or others, any child that comes in your path whether it's your inner child, you yourself, that you might need nurturing if your nurturing was missing as you grew up. So this applies to everything that is uh, needing attention, compassion, and your affection. Very important. Nice message. Let's have a look at one more message. Now, my DB was just to make it uh, clear about these uh, messages over here. You've got six messages, and they are for each and every one of us. You can, however, make them personal and ask questions uh, and use them to give you answers, whether it's timing you want to know, whether it's elaboration about certain subjects. Use that to tell you um, some answers. I have chosen mine. You can put your attention on asking a question and, and nominating an answer. Okay. In the meantime, let us begin with the message for today. Ooh, what is wrong with me today? Or oh, the cards, actually. <laughs> okay, so I'll leave them and, and just get one. There we go. Two I wanted. None I've got them. This is, thank you for that. That's great. Okay, so we've got a new passage. I, I got the truth, actually. It's amazing. This was falling as I was shuffling before with the intention, and now it came out. So we'll talk about the new passage. It shows that there's a new, new doorway, a new path that's opening up for you. This is going to be taking you to a very successful place. So be prepared for a new adventure, a new path, a new doorway opening to take you to great success. And the other thing is freedom. Is it freedom or changes? Bear with me, I'll just put my glasses. We've got the truth here that's going to be the ultimate support for you to change and transcend. A lot of changes are taking place in your life, my dear, um, my dear viewers, my dear friends. My dear soul friends, what I'm seeing here is the truth is going to transcend you to high levels of understanding and hence you'll be able to make a lot of changes or even understand the changes that are being enforced in your life. And some of you are being um, going through a lot of changes that are, you don't even like. They're enforced in your life. So you'll be able to understand them and the truth is going to be the only way for you to understand what's going on. No other means will explain the changes, only the truth. So you've got to be very honest with yourself. And if you haven't got the answer, meditation. In meditation, you get to find out everything, the whole truth. Why these things are happening? Why is this change taking place, which I don't like? You'll get to understand it all. Now, my dear viewers, we're going to go through these messages before I go through the tarot. Right, which are four cards. Four important messages for the collective July 25th. I'll just put that there. Before we go through, we're going to go through this. Now, this if you're not ready now, you can put me on pause, put the video on pause, and unpause it to get the answers. I'm going through the answers right now. Okay. 
So we've got the grasshopper. The grasshopper is about um, situations in the balance that require careful handling. You've really got to use, um, like we have the raven here with the truth. When the truth does come out, you've got to be very cautious how to proceed, how to implement things, and you need to balance situations. So a lot of situations are going to be requiring careful handling. You've got to be so treading carefully. Right. Now let's have a look at this one. It says, I wish you could see that we are mirroring each other. Right now, we are mirroring each other. This could be connected to people that have Aries or Taurus in them or dealing with someone that has Aries or Taurus. Four weeks from now, and we've got the Chinese year of the cat rabbit. Interesting. Now, it says a ship. It says going places, adventure, vehicle, vacations, trips, enterprises, movement. You're moving with the wind, um, swift travel. Some of you have been going overseas. There's a lot of travel happening here. Transcending to high levels. October is going to be really big and major. Um, or three months from now, we're in nearly August, September, October. Yes, October, big time. Uh, this is connected to people that have uh, Scorpio in them. They have Libra in them. They have Pisces or Aries. And I feel like there is going to be a trip that's going to make a big impact for everybody. Chinese of the tiger and the rooster. And timing, we've got three weeks up to October. Let's have a look at this one here. It says money path. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. A path of money. You are going to find it without a doubt. When it's destined, it's yours. It will never get lost. I feel abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. This is um, someone that might be feeling alone, lonely, and abandoned. Uh, it could be just a feeling because you're stuck or you're, you're not sure where you're at and why certain things are happening. Sometimes people feel that way until they meditate and get in connection with the truth. And that's what the raven here is. The raven is about the truth. The raven spirit is about the truth that will remove uncertainty and not understanding why or feeling abandoned and not knowing why. Um, this is connected to the people that are born in the Chinese year of the monkey, connected to people that have Virgo or even Libra in them, um, connected to September. September will bring you a lot of understanding and nine days to nine weeks from now. Now, let's have a look at this one. Why? We have the rider. Now, this shows that uh, there could be a messenger, message coming, message that will make you move, movement. Something's happening that's giving you the go-ahead to be able to move. There could be travel. There could be news. There could be um, news delivered to you that gives you the go-ahead to be able to take action. Um, there's a green. This is like a green light. When you're waiting for something and you get acceptance, you get a grant. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can go ahead. Yes, we'll give you the loan. Yes, you can buy that property you want. Progress and full speed ahead without stopping. You can actually take action, move. If you were stuck, you weren't able to move, you'll be able to move. There's so much you'll be doing. And uh, this is happening around... Nine weeks from now, Chinese year of the monkey, Chinese year of the rat. We've got one month from now. Uh, for some of you, we've got a new beginning. We've got nine, again, October, September, October, something big happening. Um, connected to people that are Libra again and Virgo. Um, this time we've got Capricorn also and Aquarius. And connected to Chinese year of the monkey and the rat. Nine to ten days, weeks from now. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so news is coming that's going to give you the go-ahead to be able to move. Let's have a look at the tarot cards. Oh, my God. How incredible. News coming quickly to give you the go-ahead to move forward, the green light to move forward. How incredible is that? That's exactly this. That is truly amazing. It's coming. The news is on its way. For some of you, it could be one day, one week, one month, up to September, October. For some of you, the movement might take some time because you're still, divine timing hasn't reached. So, But great news is coming to give you the green light. If you're waiting for an application of some sort or an acceptance, it's yes, go ahead. It's coming very soon. This could be also connected to people of fire energy like Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Fire energy is someone very supportive. Taking a stand, defending what you believe in and taking a stand, fighting for what you believe in, setting boundaries is the time to go now, to, to go through this. July has already brought this on. We'll clarify it and see how and in what regard. Wishes and dreams come true, but one in particular that's been the oldest wish, it's coming. It's going to be granted to you. 
what you've wanted for the longest time finally it's going to be yours so prepare for that that's miraculous okay now is everything possible yes what you don't see happening and coming the sun will be shining in your path and giving you healing for those of you who haven't been feeling well it's going to give you abundance and it's going to give you true love and happiness and we've got action wow you're finally taking action and moving forward again this is to do with the riders so this this rider here is both of these you see this is incredible this rider it's both of these taking action now quickly and news coming to release you. Both of these cards is this one here, which is amazing. Mm, nice. Great news to give you the go-ahead to move. All right, so this is this one. That's what you don't see happening, and that's happening. So once you get the go-ahead, then you'll be able to take action and move. This is traveling also, can be traveling. So we've got that. Now we're going to take three more messages from this deck for everyone. For July 25th, let's have a look. We have the Five of Swords. This shows there's an area of your life where there's nothing you can do. It's out of your hands, out of your control. You're defeated. It's coming to an end. You've just got to recognize it. And then you'll be able to leave and take action and move forward. Maybe it'll take five more days or weeks before this collapse takes place. This collapse, this disruption, this ending can be a crisis, could be something really like bad, but it's putting an end to something that has no longer, that's no longer needed in your life. It's not for your highest good. It can only torment you. So it's being removed, either a situation or someone being removed from your life completely. And it is in an area where you are defeated. You know it's over, but you're not able to move, but action will be taken. Oh my God, how they work well together something's happening giving you the action to leave an area of your life that you're defeated there's nothing you can do there's no win situation maybe money is coming and doing that a lot of money a major rise in your money a grand dramatic rise in your money to the point where you'll start just thinking about how to invest it and what to do with this amount of money it's a big amount of money and it's coming and it's changing your life completely what you don't see happening is celebrations. The Three of Cups celebrating something miraculous. The Ten of Cups happiness. All your dreams and wishes coming true. And I think this could be to do with your wishes coming true. And having your dream home. Paying off your home. Buying a home. Buying a business. Celebrating a big contract. Celebrating a great gift. Celebrating a great yes. Celebrations and happiness in every possible way. With the sun. A lot of success, a grand something big happening in your life that you're celebrating. This is really big and major. Wow. Actually. Right. Yes, so that's incredible, my dear viewers. Let's take two more messages from this deck to see what else for July 25th. Whoa, they fly. Wow. Okay, so we put this one here. We go to this one, the face. This is about money situations. This is about money skills. It's about being an investor, putting money. This is also about this money here. Seeing investors, getting um, ideas, financial advice, knowing what to do, not taking things at face value, really not taking any risks at all with a lot of money, searching things through, analyzing situations. Um, this is going to be also about reputation. Always when you're putting money into something, whether it's a bank, whether it's a business or whatever, maybe a company, make sure you check everything, their reputation, everything, all um, the information that you can get. Also, you have to be careful of your reputation, exposure, but there is a lot of fame and a lot of money coming, which you need to really not take any risks about. That's what this is about. Not taking any risks whatsoever. Now, the feather, on the other hand, is an incredible, incredible, magical message. It's about abundance and easy money. And it's about divine intervention in your money, in your life, and abundance and easy money. That's this money that's coming out of nowhere and giving you abundance. This is where maybe you're celebrating the situation of money. You really could be celebrating a big time. Um, this abundance that's coming. But there is abundance coming where you're having a lot of money to think about and get advice on what to do. That's for sure. The sun is going to be shining in your path without a doubt and giving you so much to be grateful for. So much. You'll be in so much gratitude for this. Um, abundance and divine intervention in your money and the six of uh, the seven of pentacles. This is really like major big money. 
that you really are going to be thinking some of you want to buy property invest in earth um and some of you might be thinking investing in something that gives you um what do you call it it might give you a profit monthly profit or yearly profits but there is some something to do with property some of you could be buying property because there's real estate here also so that's incredible magical yes happiness was there and the money was here i think right i don't remember exactly but doesn't matter let's see two more messages actually no the happiness was here i think right yes two messages for everybody so we've got deception now see this is really where the face comes in deception somebody could be deceiving you that's why they're saying don't take things at face value especially when there's a lot of money and don't take any risks so you won't lose money or lose anything it says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship or situation so you've got to be very careful that's very very cautious there's cautious there caution caution and the raven itself is caution so you've got to be very careful if you're dealing with someone that is uh, not quite honest or you know trying to get money out of you or trying to get something and deceive you in some way you've got to be very careful and then comes the good news a soulmate connection it says yes this is your soulmate yes so your soulmate is on its way on their way so that's great news also now let's move on to the message of the day and see what the message is for everybody for today. 25th of July, July 25th. Here we go. Now it says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities that you don't like are also your own reflection. So always judge fairly when you see you don't only take the good out of someone and think oh wow they're so much like me i like that and then what you don't like it's something that they you yourself have within you so you've just got to take the good and the bad to be fair and square yes let's have a look at the messages and see what they're all trying to tell us and understand them on a deeper level starting with the tower let's see what is collapsing the tower and we've got someone will inspire you to uplift you out of a conflict, a situation that there where there's a lot of disagreements, a lot of battles that's coming to an end. And someone is going to be coming in your life, uplifting you. Even if they come in your life temporary, they will get you out of a situation. This could be um, interesting. And it could be in relation to someone of earth energy or water. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They might have earth or water in them okay let's have a look you're probably saying why she's not saying fire i can't say because i saw this and i saw the earth energy so um the knight of uh, pentacles so that's why um let's have a look at the uh, five of swords this area of your life where you feel defeated and there's nothing that more you can do this is all happening because you are destined for a lot of happiness with the ten of cups but there's only one challenge to go one challenge and ends a very suffocating situation and this uh, one challenge once it's over you are going to get so many so many rewards so much happiness destined for you the sun that's why the sun is coming and shining in your path because you're destined for so much happiness my dear viewers as soon as this situation collapses something ends and then you're moving forward to a great wonderful place where you will be abundant and happy and dreams come true not only the sun then you've got also the feather which is abundance easy money and divine intervention in your life to bring you all this happiness and give you that which you want whether it's a dream home dream business the ten of cups can be anything emotional fulfillment buying a property something magnificent is happening in your life big time major and that's going to bring you a lot of happiness so it could be a soulmate also, by the way, without a doubt, because the Ten of Cups, fulfillment to the highest level, starting a great life with a soulmate, with the sun shining in your path. That could be also for many, someone miraculous where you start a life together. I'll just hold it properly so you can see it well. There you go. That's a very strong possibility. And it could be something that you're celebrating at the same time. Celebration of something really big happening. Maybe a windfall. Maybe a lot of money coming and sorting out a lot of problems that were in your path. Maybe you're able to take action. Maybe you're able to move now. 
uh, resolve conflict, let go of conflict, release from conflict, all that is possible. So celebrations and now we have, this was in regard to, yes, the, the defeat that you are. You are going to be feeling freed from everything, free from cares and worries. The next cycle that comes up. Let's have a look at the Knight of Swords, this news that's coming, that's going to give you the green light. Let's have a look at that. Right, commitment, doing the right thing and leaving a situation that is not working. Great news coming. And what you are doing, you're doing the right thing. You are committing to do the right thing. And for that, you'll be rewarded. A new beginning that gives you abundance and growth is coming. It could be a new life, a new love. But you are transcending to high levels. And I feel like you are doing what is righteous and you are going to be supported because of what you're doing. This could be connected to air energies, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or air energies that might have fire energies in them. Talking about fire energies, let's talk about the Queen of. The Queen of Wands, it looks like, is there is someone leaving someone in the cold in connection to a fire energy. This Queen of Energy, Queen of Fire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, could be left in the cold or could be leaving someone in the cold. But leaving and moving forward, leaving someone in the cold. And I think it's because of a rebirth, but I, I can't take the last one until I take two more. This just flew out. So in regard to the Queen of Wands again, oh, oh my God, look what keeps coming. The end of a chapter, a very painful, painful, hard chapter ends. That's why they're leaving. Finally, is there anything else about the Queen of Wands? There's that rebirth. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, I've got to take it. It keeps showing itself. So this person, this fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, I feel like there's a new beginning for them where they were stuck on whether they should go or leave or two between two places. I feel like there's a rebirth that's taking them to a high place, a new lease of life where there will be a lot of healing, extraordinary healing, compassion, compensation and a new lease of life that will give them a grand rise and rewards for this hard chapter that was overwhelming them that's the end of that let's have a look at the happiness the ten of cups for everyone the wheel of fortune and it's connected to someone of air energy that have air, air whether it's aquarius gemini or libra um, the wheel of fortune shows a lot of happiness is coming don't forget i'm doing this i'm asking about this question this happiness that is all over the place. It was here again. Yes, see? I was asking about this and the Wheel of Fortune came and this came. The air energy. Or oh, someone advising you to take action, be truthful, using your intellect, your logic, or rather than your mind, putting emotions aside. Could be connected to air energies, very strong air energies here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. A lot of happiness destined for you. Extraordinary happiness destined for you. And that's why you probably are celebrating a lot of extreme luck coming your way. You'll be able to purchase whatever you want to purchase. There could be a lot of money coming with the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of happiness. True love. Soulmate. There's so much happiness. With, because we're asking about the Ten. The Ten of Cups. So the soulmate that gives you happiness and emotional fulfillment in every area. Um, abundance. Extreme luck could be doing it. A lot of money changing your life and taking you to high levels where you you will be in so much gratitude soulmate it could be any of those things for different people forget, don't forget this is um, a reading for everyone but the whole collective so that's what's coming in that regard now let's move on to what you're fighting for the seven of wands what boundaries are you trying to set what are these about they're to do with a challenge and to do with the next level which is your soulmate so there is a challenge that you will overcome by setting those boundaries and you are going to have your victory and then you are destined for a soulmate someone that will, is going to be by your side with you hand in hand taking you to the next level you'll work well together because you're destined you've had past lives together so you will be healing together and becoming strong together so a great victory awaits you this could be in connection to someone of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They might have Earth energy. Have a look at your general reading. Um, you are, what's hidden from you is you are going to have a lot of courage and strength after this. Have a look at your general reading under your star sign and you'll know exactly who this Earth, Earth energy is, um, which star sign it is. And they're, they're showing a fire energy here also coming. So there could be someone of Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You've got Sagittarius, Aries, Leo again. Fire energy big time. So have a look at that. 
and see who that person may be. Uh, it depends. This is for the collective because we also had air energy, I think. Then we have the Queen of Swords somewhere here. Um, maybe not. Okay. So, my dear viewers, now what's missing? Oh, I don't have those Chinese cookies here with me. Hmm. Could it be that I didn't bring my Chinese cookies? Because I'm, I'm working from another station, another place. Oh, no, I, I do have them. I knew I wouldn't forget them. So let's take two messages. Let's see what else they want to let us know. July 25th. And one has turned over here. Yeah. Okay, glasses on and let's have a look at this. Right, it says reinvent yourself. That's really to do with judgment, where you're starting fresh and new lease of life. So it says reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Enjoy a new lease of life. And that's what judgment is all about. So that explains that very well. It says assert yourself. And that's this one here, where you need to assert yourself and set boundaries. Right? It says, go for what you want. The time is ripe now for a soulmate connection. Have a look at that. For a soulmate connection. The birth of a child is also likely, but the soulmate. Now, for some of you, there's the child. It connects to the child. Oh, bear with me, my dear viewers. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, here we go. So, assert yourself. Is that what we talked about? Set boundaries, but then the birth of a child is possible also because we had a child. Now that could be an inner child for some of you. Some, some of you could be someone that you adopted. Could be your child. It could be a new birth that's happening. And that's the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget what's coming and what you're destined for is incredible in every possible way. It's incredible. You've got the sun shining. You've got the wheel of fortune of luck and abundance controlling your life, taking you to the next level of at utmost happiness. So no matter what collapses, no matter what falls apart, you are destined for a lot of happiness. That's the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you abundance of blessings, a lot of joy, a lot of love and light in everything you do. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Don't forget to see the video all the way to the end in support of me. A lot of love and light. Namaste.